Hi, this is Zach May from Master Investor with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Monday the 13th of April. Starting off with AFC Energy where the doubters look as though they've currently got it wrong. Um, we had the breakthrough of the 200-day moving average uh, in March, uh, test the support above the 200-day line, which is normally a positive as well. And then this V-shaped bull flag breakout that we're seeing at the moment, just above the uh, old March high, that was um, 32 pence, a uh, weekly close above that. It looks as though we're in a rising trend channel, which is uh, from in place from the beginning of last month. Top of the channel heading as high as 50 pence, uh, probably stop loss on the buy argument at the moment. The floor of the channel... Uh, or even down to the 10-day moving average, which, which is just around the 27 pence level, just crossing the 50-day and 200-day moving averages as well. So looks pretty strong. Any dips towards 30 pence, uh, this uh, March support line can currently be regarded as a buying opportunity, even though the shares are currently quite overbought. Next up is uh, EMED. Here we can see the breakthrough, the 50-day moving average. Looks to me as though we can get a recovery back towards... Uh, this sort of line here, line of resistance from December, that also ties in with the 200-day uh, moving average as well. The obvious stop loss and end of day close back below the 50-day moving average, 4.09 pence. Um, initial targets, uh, as I said, around the 6 pence level, but uh, looks as though with these uh, bull uh, bear trap rebounds that we've had, especially that last double dip towards 3 pence, that this is a, uh, a rebound which is here to stay. Positive uh, divergence in the RSI window as well, so... Uh, Looking quite constructive from for EMED at the moment. Uh, always keen to get some kind of gold exposure or gold play on board. Uh, one of the better ones at the moment in terms of the minnows uh, looks to be Oxus Gold. Here we've had this uh, golden cross buy signal at the beginning of the year between the 50-day and 200-day moving averages. Since then, a positive consolidation, even though there's been quite a pullback from the uh, February peak. But this still looks uh, positive just because uh, we've had uh, multiple support points uh, above the 200-day moving average of 2.44 pence and uh, support also coming in towards former December-January resistance around the 3 pence mark as well. The latest position here is that uh, bear trap from back uh, below the 2 March uh, support points there under 3 pence. Uh, the view at the moment is that uh, at least while we hold um, this uh, 2.87 pence uh, level, which was the uh, last March low. Uh, one well, would expect a return to this uh, post-February range, uh, 4 pence, 5 pence over the next month or so. If you're cautious on the shares, maybe you'd wait on an end-of-day close back above the 50-day moving average of 3.58 pence. Uh, but it does look as though enough work has been done here uh, to get a new leg to the upside underway. Tether's financial uh, stock that looks as though it's sort of captured the imagination of private investors, even in the short time that we've been looking at it over the last couple of months. Uh, current trajectory looks as though it's within a uh, rising trend channel from the end of February. Notional support coming in towards four and a half pence. That's the support line there from uh, a couple of months back. And the target over the near term, maybe the next couple of weeks, up to eight pence or even nine pence, which is the top of this channel, effectively retesting or just beating. Uh, the March intraday high. Last up is Valorix uh, here, looking constructive in terms of this weekly close above the 50-day uh, moving average. Obviously, we have been here before, but uh, uh, with the failed uh, breaks uh, in February. Uh, but it does look as though uh, with this extended uh, higher support here uh, versus uh, December, I think the low there was around the 0 0.8 uh, pence, 0.18 pence mark. Uh, the shares should start to. Uh, uh, sort of spike higher, uh, probable or possible uh, trajectory here towards 0 0.35 pence, which would be the top of this uh, rising December price channel. This stage only back below 0 0.2 pence, uh, this uh, price channel floor would really be outright negative or at least delay the prospect of uh, a little rally over the near term. That's it from me. More updates at masterinvestor.co.uk.